So hello everyone, here we are for another video on Magic Arena. It's been quite some time, it's been quite some time that I've been playing by the way. That I didn't play it, sorry. Uh, yeah, definitely quite some time. So, um, well. I don't really know the game, the set, the mechanics, but yeah, I came back to the game just because, like, why not? Because of a deck, I'll show you after. But well, we I, I know some of the cards, to be honest. I've drafted like once. So I know that this card is really good. So Convoke is a mechanic that you can tap your creatures to pay generic or mana from that creature's color. When the center's in the battlefield, uh, depending on the number of creatures you can vote, you can put up to two with the mana cost X, that are the number of creatures that convoked, or less, into your hand. So it's really good card value. It's really rare. I mean, understandable why. Um, besides that, really big creatures are always my charm. Removal, nice. Let's convoke on top of all. Uh, really big creatures are my thing. But yeah, let's just keep this. Let's see what else do we got in there. I don't know if you can see, but I got um, this in just a moment. I'm uploading two videos. I don't know if... Nope, I cannot see it. If you can also see the tracker. That's okay. So I think I'm going to go for this one, because first of all, it's a white, like the card that I'm doing. Usually, in the first, like, five to eight picks, I don't pay attention to the color. I just pick the best card. And then I try to see more or less what's open, what I want. But uh, for now, the white card seems the best one. There is also this protection. The color you want, if it's a creature, point a counter. Interesting. But I like this one. It's, you can pay 5 into life, or 6, and make this transform. The more of those you have, the bigger they will be. But uh, besides that, not really interesting in anything else. This is not bad, Vanquish the Weak. Ha! <laughs> just the moment I say, the more I have, the better. 2 mana, 2-2, two, two. it's already reasonable. But on top of all, they have an effect. So definitely, I think it's gonna be my pick. That's not bad, but you need to play a lot of black because of Devotion. Devotion is, uh, um, like, depending on the number of black mana symbols in cards cost, in permanent cards cost. So if you have an enchantment that actually your land, it's uh, it counts as devotion, an enchantment, an artifact, uh, an aura, whatever it is that is in your board, and that is a permanent, like permanent, of course it's on board, that has black mana symbols counts for this. But well, this is not bad either. You can basically just pop one of your own battles, and you get a, dr a card, but 3 mana is quite expensive. This card is surprisingly not bad, gives you a blocker and potentially a 5 5 for 2. But for now, I'm just gonna pick the other one. Hmm, what is this? The Invital Field shows the card type, spells, yeah, blah 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 blah. Each non land card in your starting deck shares a card type, so creature. If I only have creatures, this card is OP. Hmm. Ah. Not a big fan, actually. I like this card. Weirdly. The, it doesn't have that much value, but I like it. I also really like this one. Yes, 5 mana, you get like a 4-3, but which makes this card really nice to block is the ability that she incubates for 3. Incubate, for those who don't know, you get this token that you're seeing, and you might pay 2 to transform it, and the, the number after the incubate, 3 in this case, are the number of plus 1, plus 1 card this has on it. So I'm just gonna go for this. So, um... I like this card, but staying on white. Can be nice, so I have this, that is removal. Straight target. Plane Zocker that uh, trigger this turn, or a tapped creature. It's an instant, so if a creature attacks, it's gonna tap. This is only bad if the creature has Vigilance, because they don't tap attacking. But uh, I'm fine taking that, actually. 
This card is not bad if you have a lot of creatures, which is gonna be the case, but my deck seems to be a little slower than that. I'm gonna pick this. It has Convoke on top of all. Hmm. I have a protection for my creatures. This card is just bad. I like this card, as weird as it seems. The card is not that good, to be honest. But later in the game, when you're just... You and your opponent are not attacking, because, well, just too many bad blocks, and not many cards that actually do something on a fight, this card is clutch. But I think I'm still gonna take the protection for now, seeing all my colors. Even though I don't like going for mono white, just mono colored in general, on draft. Flying and backup, not a big fan of this. Uh, 5 mana for that. If it would be 4 and 2 2 instead of 2 3, it would be fine, better, a lot better. For now, I'm just gonna take this. No. Mm. Our colors. Green seem to be open too. The card is not bad. A battle, for those who don't know, it's something that you put on the battlefield, it usually has a trigger. And your opponent controls it. Then you can attack this, as the same as you attack a planeswalker. And uh, you remove as many counters, like really like planeswalker loyalty counters. When you kill it, it just transforms and uh, you take control of it, of course. So it's not bad. I'm gonna take big things. Green is a good color and seems to be open. I like big things like this. That sounded weird, but big creatures, I mean. Yeah, let's go for it forever. This color combination is really good too. So I have nothing interesting, so I'm gonna pick the strongest card, which I think is this one. It's okay, but I don't have that much incubate, so I'm gonna put it sideboard. That's interesting. I don't like this. It has blue on top of all, so... Sideboard. If I have a lot of incubate, I'll see. Or a lot of petals in this case. I'm gonna pick this, my colors, but sideboard. Don't want to play it yet. I kinda like where this is going, but it's really expensive. Invasion because this card sucks like hell. Oh, a plane, nice. I got it. Oh, oh. It's not too common to see a 5 rated card, but let's see what this does. Kologa Yetar, enter the battlefield, choose one. Jump on a dice, that fights target, which you don't control. Okay. Discard this, which I have one target artifact or enchantment, shuffle. Into your library from your graveyard and draw a card. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Even though I don't play red, at least yet, this card is really nice. There isn't much else I would like, actually. But I need ramp, definitely, because this is expensive as hell. That's ramp. The card is meh. But that's ramp, definitely. Can go for this. There's also this card that is really good. <coughs> it's kind of bugged, but. 4 mana instant. This is a creature replace soccer, and you get a treasure token. <laughs> totally fine. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take this. Even though the card is quite expensive. Or the six altar creature pays six. Incubate three. Beautiful. Really good card. Because if you have eight mana, you can play the card, you can transform the incubator token and block. 
so you can get a time kind of rid of the three cards at once. I like this. I need more early game, definitely. Wow, I love this card. Just gonna go for it, I guess. I really need more early game stuff. The card is not bad. <coughs> so I'm kind of splashing red. Because the card, the card is kind of weird, but I like it. I need to start looking for dual lands. What the hell is this? You cannot block when it's necessary. You control deals damage to an opponent or battle. Now pay one if you do. The fix near the battlefield against haste. Meh. Also me. Yeah, I saw this. But do I want it? Well, like, the more I have, the better, but... Okay, I'll get it. So I have three creatures like this. I have some things to play in the early game, but... Well. You're not bad. Entering the battlefield, I discard the card. If I do, I draw two. Then the transform is meh. But it's a draw two cards, kinda. And even if I pay, it's not bad. This, I don't like. Like, she has a protection, but... If this is the my only creature, she dies. Oh no, it's each creature, so it counts with her. I wanted the other one too late, my bad. To target creatures control, get one attack each, they deal damage equal to their power to another target creature. Okay, that's a good card, it's a good removal too. Can I go for this? I have too much early game stuff now. This costs a lot to transform. really like this card. Okay. Okay, good. I, I took it, I took it. So I, the card does, like, you look at the top 5, you reveal a land or a double face, like this one for example. Uh, put it into your hand, put the rest in the bottom. So it's fine, it helps find lands, I guess. So I guess we can go for more late game now. I just need uh, something to fill uh, but up this a bit. Meh. Mm. It's not bad. But my cards cost too much. I'm gonna put that to the sideboard though. Non-token, artifact, or enchantment. That's not bad in this meta. This card is nice. I'm going to put it on sideboard for now. No, you know what, I'm going to put it there. Because I need 4 drops. I picked this just because. Shit. Well, works too. Yeah, go back here. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> okay, it's funny. It's funny, I'll admit. Just 5 mana, 9 3. Just, it's a meme. It's fun. Just that. Okay, 3 5 vigil. It's not bad. And it creates tokens for free. Just gonna check something. I don't know if I can type, I cannot. 
I don't know how much backup I have. I don't. One. Nothing. So this card is not worth playing. The one that was there. The. Well. The abilities of creatures open control remove activated. His abilities of creatures open control you may spend mana. Okay, not bad, not bad. Am I gonna splash black too? Nah, I don't think so. Oh, I have this. This is big. I don't even care about the rest. Gives me a ramp, gives me mana fixing. Beautiful card. Card is not bad. <coughs> There's plain cycling too. Let's see the rest. The card is not bad. But I have too much early game already. Mm, I guess I can pick this. It has plain cycling. It's gonna help me fix. Beautiful. I land. Nothing else really interests me, so I'm gonna go for you. Did I add another one? Weird. Hmm. Nothing comes to my interest. Yet. I guess I can just pick this just because. Mm. And blah 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 because saved or the extra control get less X or basic lands. Okay, whatever. Uh, Dun Shaper and like the card. Why does the game tell me this? I don't play blue. So let's start cutting some things out. Don't like this. Wow. Great, you got your uh, the full dart eyes. You gain one life. The card is good. They have another one of those. The more the better, I guess. I have a play set of them. Big Akavu, because it costs 4. And he's not a bad card, to be honest. I don't want anything from that. I guess I'm just gonna repick this. And then start looking at my deck. <coughs> 6 on creatures. Okay. I have to see how good this is. I guess not for now. The land came back. Hmm. This costs eight. I guess I can pick this. Just uh, pick this because whatever, pick this because whatever, and pick this because it's last. I have too many cards, I have to take out four. Okay. Let's see how this goes. <sighs> I'm gonna take you out, I think. I'm gonna have those two cards as really late game. Beginning of your end step, exile target non-creature, non-land card. So, from your graveyard, that's a nope. <coughs> Doesn't do much. That's a tip. Type to dots creature. You have your creatures up, so you have the rest that are not creatures down. 
In my deck, this card doesn't make sense. Wait, wrong card. First of all, let's see. Can play with one of those. So I have three of each, like this. Incubate, I also need to see how, many, how much incubate I have. But the card is nice. Destroy an artifact or enchantment. And incubate. I think it's worth playing this. This is the card I wanted. This card doesn't make sense. Or does it? Kinda does. If I play this, I need to play this. What about counters? I could also just cut those two cards, or those three cards. The card is really good, definitely. But I'm not risking playing red for that. The two dual ends I have are red. God damn it. Seventeen. Yeah, that's it. Seventeen. Hmm. How many non creatures? Nine. But this kind of is a creature. This kind of is true. What do I cut? I cut one of those, I think. I can just cut the land and it's good. But I'd rather do it like this. Because I need more white in the early game. Green is better f to find lands though. So I think I just go 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, it looks fine to me. Such that I couldn't play Kolaga. I like the red, two red cards. Well, the big legendary one would make sense. Uh, by the way, this is my, my thinking about it is, I want to play early and aggressive on board and with this card. This card, I can do it like up to five mana cost. So this card makes sense now that I think about it. Those are not tokens, but... Yeah. Hmm. No, I don't think I'm gonna risk that because I still have a lot of expensive things. This card costs six. It's a shame because there, it's I look at the top six and put uh, with mellow value X or less, and X is the convoked, and the convoke is up to five. It's a shame. I could just let this one, but uh, just play one card that isn't even that good in my deck because it's more about instant sorceries. Nah. Oops. Yeah, I think it's good like this. Let's see how far we go with this. I might do another video on a deck that I'm trying on my own and that I've seen... Uh, I don't know the name, it's Quaza, Quazal, something like that. The Great White Dragon on YouTube. The guy that puts videos every day. He put the Nords of Control and also Sloth Gaming too. Uh, about the white black control. Look really fine. Look like a better version of what I was trying. But uh, for this, do I risk it? Nah, I don't think. It's a shame the end is so good. You know what? It's the first game. Whatever. What a shame. Still have one turn to draw plane, I guess, but if I don't, I have this in the worst case. But I would still need a land. Oh, come fuck on. Bastard, talk shit. Ah! I am gonna already change this. Okay, that's aggressive. And I do not have anything that deals with flyers. Ah, now, haha, <laughs> funny game. Did 
So I guess I'm still playing this. Just to be sure the tide lines. No, it's random. Okay. Okay. Fine. For now, I'm not gonna block because I want one more creature because of uh, Shanna. Okay, look at this. Incubate, transform the token, and he gets a mark because this, oh, those are counters, and no attack. Let's see what he does. He can still beat me in four turns with this, but that's the game. It's annoying. No block for now. Well, I think I'm gonna die, I don't think I can survive this. Unless I have a way to deal with that. I think I just play two creatures. The board is mine, but I do not have HP. Gonna block like this and sacrifice a token. Or this. I cannot block this anyway. I'm dead next turn unless I draw a card. Yeah, I sacrifice you. Ah, yeah. That's the card in question. Yeah. Boom, it's big. I'm dead. Ah, that's annoying. I don't have any ways, yeah, sure. Keep taunting. Get the fuck out, moron. Flying is so broken in draft. This was not necessary, it's just being an asshole. Like, when it's the case, when at least the opponent doesn't concede, it, just fucking kill him, right? That's what I do. Not well. Not everyone is decent. Shame. And let's go. The first game, usually it's always a loss. And if it's a win, if it is a win for some reason, well, you're in trouble. That's usually what happens. Okay. Now you have a way to deal with the flyer, and I have man of two colors, and something to buy a turn to. How good is that? I just needed this earlier. But well, happens. And yes, this is a keep. I just want another creature to play on turn 3, would be nice. Come on, wake up. No, I'm not gonna emote. I also have uh, emotes off. Because reasons. It's obvious. I don't want to be tilted even more because of idiots just typing. And can this guy please wake up? Well, if it's a free win, I take it, but for YouTube it's boring. Okay. I went to six. That's how I organize my hand. Creatures, lands. I'm not gonna play the forest yet. Do you have a counter spell in draft for the uh, two drop? Really? Or is it card draw? There is card draw. I think it's like, look at the top three, put one in your hand, one graveyard and one bottom. I think that's it. Not sure. This guy sleeps while playing. Jesus. If you counter this, I'm fine with it. He doesn't. Three colors. Wow. Now let's see if it is actually consistent or just because he had one card and he just decided to be like, okay, me. I want something to play on turn 3, I would like to keep this card, but if I need, 
I'm gonna play this because I need to be proactive or I'm freaked. Well, that's a shame. And if I don't have a second green, I cannot play this though. I can kill this. I can. Nice. <clears throat> Good. The thing about counter spells in draft is that it forces you to wait to use them until really late in the game. Let me. Re Holy shit. Okay, this has nothing, but this. I read wrong the card. But in this particular case, it's even better. Because when she'll transform, the token that she will spawn will have the plus 4, plus 4. Unless he's gonna kill it, which is really probable. Looking at the way he is playing, he's not fucking killing it. Whoa, okay. Got it. <coughs> Draw three cards if three or more creatures lay this turn. Okay. So now the plan is just. I pay life. Holy shit, that's right. The card is really nice in this case. And he takes it. He eats it. My god. That's risky. Four colors. I don't know how consistent that is, but... Oh my fucking... I forgot to transform this. Oh my god. I choked it. I would have won if I would have transformed the token. That's something that I'm not used to, like... <sighs> I just play this. Feel free to counter it. Uh, when I talk and play for, like, playing another game, it's fine. But uh, while playing Magic, it's a lot different. Okay, fine. Yes, by the way, you can attack with the token even though I transform it now because the token uh, was on board already. I was saying about counter spells, sorry. I don't like playing counter spells in draft because um, in limited, usually, everything is decided by board control. Right? Most of the time, the big majority of the time. And uh, playing a counter spell means that you need to basically waste your mana by not using it, like just not tapping your lands, not using them, to keep a card that is going to be in your hand, and if the opponent plays something that you don't want to counter, or that does not, does not play anything, you're going to lose mana just by not playing anything for keeping that counter spell. So counter spells are better in the late game, but even though you're never happy to have a counter spell in your hand, in the first like five turns most of the time. That's why playing a counter spell in draft is really it's just like the playstyle of counter spells do not fit well with um, draft. I could keep this. Honestly. Because I have technically a third land from here but let's try it. You don't try to catch the fish, you surely do not eat the fish. That's the thing. Oh no, I just hope I get the green one. <laughs> ha! Fuck you, wizards. Fuck you, stupid game. Sure! He's playing white, so I'm gonna keep this. He might play an enchantment. 
I don't think I should just plane cycling now. Ho 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 ho. I'm not. You're dead. It doesn't gain life. Ah, another creature. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Well, now I'm forced to do this. Yes, I'm playing on a white, by the way. A shame. One green land on the second turn would be so good. I would have played this. Ouch. That's still not a green mana. If he attacks, I can just do this. Because I can convoke. He's not attacking. Funny. Did he misclick? Oh ho! Let's see what he does. And now I'm gonna play... Here. Because this just ties to that. This at least puts a little more pressure on the board. And because I have three creatures, one of them being white, I can play this still. So what I can do is... I block this card, this, if he attacks, and then when he plays the card to buff it, I kill it. So it's gonna be a 2 for 1. That's the perfect world, but now how is this gonna play out? That's the point. And what is he keeping? In his hand. For a pause this long. 6 damage to target creature, player, or battle. Okay. Convoke. Yeah, okay. But now, because he tapped this to convoke, I can tap mine to play my convoke to kill him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good. What are you gonna do now? Two counters. Okay, this sucks. Think. You can actually just already tap this. I can transform this, I mean. But what would be the point? I can only play one card. So let's play the biggest one. And then pass. Let's see how it goes. He has four cards in hand. Actually, he has board control. Okay, fine. At least he doesn't have anything to... Trigger this. Perfect. He's always gonna have a pause as long as he has two mana and this up. Then he also has this. Sacrifice a spirit, choose target. Exiled. The target got exiled away, and you may. Can start card this turn without paying its meta cost. If that's valid, but okay, that's annoying. I'm gonna pass because I can play this. That is an instant. No attack. Sure. One more counter because of this, and this is a Phyrexian. What else do you do? 
So green is not a bad color when the board is top the way it is now. Oh, that sucks. Sure. I kinda want to do this, but he must have something in his hand. I doubt he doesn't. But if I just let it go and he buffs it, he's not gonna kill it and get a flyer. So I actually do need to risk it. So first of all, I think I'm gonna block with this actually. The first strike is uh, just for this turn, don't forget. He gets the, he, he, the counter stays, but the first strike is just for this turn. So I can do this. I prefer losing this one instead of this one. And he does have something in hand. I'm okay if he plays something, I'll still get the land. Well, no, actually this fucking sucks. I should have played this, I should have locked with this in this case. Jesus, and I got a land, that sucks. Hard. This. No attack. Definitely that hurt me. Because it's exile, so I don't get the, the counter. I don't think I can win this one, but we never know. But I really don't think. He has three cards in hand, I have nothing. And the, car the cards that I have in my deck are not even that good. So what can help me? Maybe the instant that can help me kill things? The counters... The knight errant is not even that good because I need to tap my creatures. The big beast... I had a land. Beautiful. Cast a spell that targets one or more permanents. Activate two. I just transform this and pass the turn. And he still has something in hand. God damn it. Not gonna play the land because I have too many. I think I, I need to specific that. Specifically tell you why. Just kind of bluff. I bet he has one land in his hand too, holy shit. No, there's nothing I can do. Fuck. <laughs> this point just go for it. He's gonna probably kill this one, but... Let's see, he still has an instant in his hand. I believe. Or a land. No, I, I think he has a land. I think I should have just blocked with uh, everything but this one, but it's fine. Oh, wow. You fucking son of a bitch. Jesus, another one of those. Yeah, when I, uh, like, look at the land. Uh, white or green? White. Oh, shit. What the fuck is that? He had everything he needed. 
and I was flooded even though I pull out lands from my deck. Well, it sucks. I couldn't apply pressure in the beginning, so it was fucks fuck since turn like four, I think. And steal the lands. Okay, call planning, and I get a good hand. Hey, Mulligan. Once. Blue, I don't think he's that good of a color in draft. In this set, at least. When the center is in the battlefield or dies, this card is nice. Shuffle up to four cards, we may have value three or more. Graveyard library, or draw this card. The card is nice, actually. Even in standard, doesn't look too bad, but just feels like the armor thinks, wow, he discarded this. Okay, what the hell does he have in hand? Gonna play this on the forest because I have a double forest, double forest there. And I'm gonna put the token, uh, counter on this because token counters. You know this already. There you go. Scratch tree, reveal if it's a land or double face, draw. Well. Let's hope he does not eat the land, because he seems like needs one. I got it. What a shame. Okay. Got short, but no land. For now I don't need to defend this, because yes, you can also block. I don't know if you noticed the last game, but... I thought about doing this, but does not make sense. And I'm not gonna transform this, um, sorry, uh, cycle this. Even though I need a land. I'm gonna wait. Sure. Now he is under pressure. Because he's fighting to get lands, and I'm fighting to kill him. But he got his land. Hm, he does not attack. Beautiful. I think I can play this, just to buff this guy. Totally fine with this trade. I don't even need to do this. I could. It would take one more damage, the creature would have survived. But I'd rather just stay like this. Seems fine to me. Playing chill, you know. Okay, another 3 mana 2-2. Two, two. What do you have in your pockets now? Still need lands, I guess. What are you? Double face. 
gains HP, kills something. Okay, okay. Ability. Uh, okay. Ah, the tracker is in front of it. Uh, yeah, sure. One mana, one more, and add only activate abilities. Okay. And I guess it's my turn. Ooh, I like this. I'm gonna get the counter on this guy. So this guy has a counter too. He's forced to block, but he cannot kill anything for me. Because he's forced to block. Okay, he just gave up. Why not? Wins are stomps, loses are not f that fun. <laughs> Matchmaking is trash. I always vote Seth, always. The three or four times it appeared to me because just... If you know the Great White Dragon, I think it's a... Um, Quezal, something like that. Wait, let me check on my phone. The guy complains a lot about uh, the matchmaking and uh, those things that they mess up with the win-loss ratio because don't fucking come to me saying that no one touched that it's a lie so MTG arena original decks I think it's the name of the guy on YouTube MTG arena original decks yeah that's it the guy's nice and he's smart I like him. Can't keep this, just need one land. <sighs> Let's see what it does. To actually go with two lands. Of course I have the Ala Alabaster, but... I would like to get the land without losing my card. Not for the card itself, but for the man I'll spend to do it. And he's playing red. Come on. Give me a land, please. Uh, takes a battle. So if he plays a battle, I'm fucked. That's kind of it. Yeah, and he's gonna kill my thing. I think I lost this one. No, it's not a battle. I am fine blocking. Shame. I could have totally do this, but uh, I would do nothing for my turn and I want at least something on the board to even it a bit. To force him to do something, you know. I'm not gonna block that. Ouch. That hurts. But what hurts even more is this. Kabam. It's so this car this fucking car I might play it in standard. Of course we have the march, the white uh, white march, you know, uh, X and a white, and then you exile uh, artifact enchantment or creature, and mana value X or less. But this, not bad. Am I gonna be flooded with lands now? First things first. Hmm, do I just pass? I think I do. If he does nothing, I can just turn from one of those.
it's protection on the counter. This is gonna use a card in his hand. Or he's just straight up gonna lose this creature, but I doubt about it. It's gonna be a 2 for 1 for him. Unlucky. Okay, it becomes a 4 4. But, uh. It's a red card. Still. So mine doesn't die. Okay. What now? I can actually put pressure on him. How did he lost two life? It was because of an attack of one of those. Shit! God damn it. Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Can do this. I miscount on my mana. But I can play this. And it works fine. The pauses that he's having is because of this creature. Or because of a card he has in hand. Which is weird. The fact that he's not attacking with this guy is telling me that he does not have anything in hand. He's just attacking with this because he can't pump it. Now he's gonna play creature and pass. Hmm. If I would have a land, I would have played this fucking card. God damn it. I hate this game. Yeah, now I'm kind of fucked. One land would actually turn the game. I would have played this, he wouldn't be able to deal with it, I would have pressured him for a lot. But now... Nothing. And I guess I just pass. Yep. Ah, fuck! One land that I'm waiting, I don't know for how many turns. I'm gonna do this. He's gonna pump it at least once, and I'm gonna hope for a land because I do not want to block this. I will really want to do this. Sure, do you want to do it again to pump the token? Do you know how to read? Well, fine. Thank you! I can play! That's the reason why all this time I didn't cycle this card. Still not gonna take yet.
Please just don't give him removal. Oh god. Thank you. Need to be careful in my HP, but... Well... What? Like, I'm not shocked for this. I was kinda expecting it, but now... Why didn't he wait a bit to get something like a little bigger to try to kill this? I'm fine if he does that. He could have just take the hit. He's at 15 still. The fact that he wasn't patient at all there was weird. You're at 15. You don't need to block it. You're at 15, you also don't need to play this card urgently, it's an instant auto pop out. You played before the card transform, I got it, but... This would completely stop me from attacking. <coughs> if a source you control would deal damage to a permanent tower player, it triples that damage instead. Wow, okay. At least I have this. So I only have 3 mana to play. Or I can just... Do this. Because I kept the card all on for a moment like this. Can attack. In the worst case I can block with this or use the card. What the fuck is that? When you attack, target attacking creature gets uh, attacking battle, but uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna lose. <coughs> I almost died. Okay, I'm at 3. Hopefully he doesn't have direct damage. Okay, I'm at 2. Okay, land, fine. I have 7 mana. I'm just gonna do this. I have tokens, that's why I don't need to play this. At least it's kind of bluff. Give him a land, please. I think I drew three lands in a row now. No pauses, so I think he finally got a land. If I don't want to do this, because if I take two damage playing this card, he might kill me somehow. And I don't want to risk it. So you know what? I can attack with everything. Gets rid of all the things. The thing is, this gets weaker the, if I don't have that many creatures, so I'm gonna attack with you. And next turn, I finish the job. Quick and clean. But I could have attacked with this too. I'm just afraid of things he has. Now I can play you, because I have more mana to pump this. 
And I'm not gonna transform them, I don't want to take the damage. Just tell me he doesn't have direct damage and I'm fine. That's the moment where he pulls out a really big card and I'm like, well, yeah, nice. I love living. Right. Or here I just concede. Carboncho. Come on. Uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping for this not to happen, but I think he's still dead. Five damage, look at the top exile. Card, put the bottom, you have a pale exile card. That's not good because... Okay. Well, trouble. He cannot transform this. So what's the pause? Was it the attack? I have 8 mana potentially. So I'm gonna transform this. I think I won. This has menace. He can just concede. I can just like bump something that's gonna go on his face. He needs to block the sorry instant eyes. No, I, I, I'm thinking, but he does not have anything he can do. And in the worst case, I have a spell. Yep. Okay, the three win cap is good. Secured. Oof. Not an easy one. Okay, a lot of rewards. We. Why do I say it's a cap? Because it goes from uh, 250 gems to 1k. And from the on, it's a lot easier to get like the full price almost back. Like after five wins, you get it paid back. After four, it's really good too. So I would like one more win at least, but three wins is already really good. Not gonna complain. Okay, four lands. I could actually keep this, honestly. At least I have two colors that will drop. It's kind of risky, but uh, I just hope to draw something I can, that I can play after. And of course the second green, but later. Now, uh, two or three drops that I can play, and we are Gucci. Go on. You don't play anything. Okay. Depending on what he does, I play this or not. So I don't need to do anything else. Okay. Nice. Swamp. Okay. What do you want to transform? 
Attack, sacrifice, and now that he gets buff. Okay. By the way, in case you don't know, if you play this, when this is transformed, if this dies, this comes back to the battlefield with the normal form as you play the card. Okay, that's shady. I attack because if he trades, it's good for me, not for him, even though I cannot really play anything else after. And if I get rid of a flyer, it's good, because I do not have anything to deal with flyers except just the... Yeah, the card, the one that I used to kill the red-green big beast last game. I can do this. No, I'm gonna keep the card. Too valuable, we saw it. And eventually the cut short. So not much to deal with that, to deal with flying. He can transform it already. He doesn't. Yeah, it would be so optimal. Understand. Depending on what he does, we transform our card or play the infected defector. Right. Exile again. It's fucking annoying. Can I get a land, please? Wizards. An equipped creature attack, but I control another creature, and another creature, just attack with a creature. Okay, Felix and Knight, uh, Felix and Angel. I don't block, no, I'm not gonna do it. Forget it. Yep, that's how we lost. Unlucky. Okay, we got the land at least. Now, what do we do is the question. Don't want this to get tokens. I'm gonna do the same thing. Fish it turn. Yeah, whatever. At least I'm putting some pressure on him. In the end of his turn, I'm gonna transform this token to be a creature for this. And let's see the kind of value we're gonna get. Hopefully we'll pull something out. We have uh, eight non-creatures. Okay. Damn this card, Jesus. He has six mana, like we do. The two cards I have in hand are actually not bad. So, what do you do, sir? Transforming wouldn't be bad, holy shit. Okay. It does kinda nothing, to be honest. We 
If that's his turn, I'm fine with that. Okay. So I can do this. And since there wasn't a pause, I'm gonna do this. He's gonna kill a token, I'm gonna get this creature. I'm totally fine with that, to be honest. Mana, three or less. ARE YOU FUCKING SERIOUS?! <laughs> That's usually why I emote, because this fucking moron was SURELY about to say something. Mmm, the taste of life. Mmm, feels good. Mmm. <laughs> Bullshit, fuck. <laughs> Two, three, four. Five. Like five cards in kinda thirty. I wish should have at least one. But fine, wizard, it's fine. Poop on me. I love it. And the worst part is, this goes... <laughs> no, it's shuffled actually. I thought it was in the bottom. <sighs> this isn't bad. He's gonna get the blocker, but I'm still gonna attack with everything. The only annoying part is, if he kills this, he gets the spec and he gets the trigger too. The pause is because of this, he should make a token and block something, he's either gonna kill one of those or block the 4-4. I'm fine with both, to be honest. I would prefer him to block the 4-4, of course, but it's fine. Another land, okay. And he still has two cards in hand. <laughs> okay. Why not? If he attacks with a flyer, he's dead, unless he has a fast removal spell for 3 mana, which is possible with black and white. Legendary creature, creature angel, oh god damn it, I thought I could kill something with this. So I can transform you. And attack with this. I am also not afraid to attack with this 2-2 two -two because, well, he's forced to block. I don't think I should have put this one back. I should have attacked with this too, I think. I shouldn't have attacked with the 2-2. Two -two. It was my bad. Those are good blocks for him. He's gonna build my HP. I should have attacked with this, I should have committed. Because now I think I'm dead. Or I cannot win at least. If he gets something big. If he plays a big creature, I don't think I can pull this out because he's gonna get this back and HP. And if he just kills it, I am dead, of course. Now attacking with the 2 2 was just bad. Or if I would have attacked with a 2-2, I should have attacked with this one too. 
Okay, I choke and that cost me the game. Now nah, that's the disadvantages of overthinking. I don't know why did he do that, to be honest. Come on, give me the removal spell. Holy shit, it doesn't matter at all. Are you serious? <sighs> no. Oh. If it wouldn't be this, if those guys weren't Phyrexians, I would have won the game after this. <sighs> Is it just attacking with that? Of course not. I cannot take this. Like, if I would be at 1 HP, it would be totally fine, but I... <sighs> oh my god... Did I won? I did. One, two, three. Yeah, I won. He choked. He should have attacked with this too. He did the same mistake as I did. Oh my god. No, I need to transform this. Then I'm gonna attack with three creatures. With three power at least. And he can only block two. Yeah. But like, and I stop to think, actually. No, oh, yeah, yeah, it's GG. Holy shit, this was tight. We both did something stupid in the end. I could have won earlier if I would have attacked with the um, this card, and he could have won if he would have attacked with this card, because he would have forced me a block, and then I wouldn't be able to win, because I only need to lose two creatures. No, I think he was still dead. Depending on the way I would block. Because I would have blocked this in there. And I would still have the case where he would only have this token to block and I would have two attackers. No, actually. I would have one no matter what. If I wouldn't choke it. Well, not bad. Not bad. Like, I did a mistake and I didn't deserve to win because of that. But then he did the mistake that is kind of the same. In that case, if he couldn't win, he should have just attacked with one and not two creatures. God damn it, I'm lucky. But now it's the time where Magic Arena punishes me. That's just the beginning. Not giving me green mana. And then by turn 4, I'd say, I'll have nothing to play. But... Let's say optimist and say that we got our 4 wins. Holy shit, I didn't say anything. I apologize, wizard. For once. Funny enough. Okay. For now, I mean advantage.
not anymore. <laughs> nice. I need to do this. I was hoping for him to block, but no one would. I get rid of his creature, one more damage in. I would like a land. I really would like a land. Beautiful. Come on, please give me something. That's something. I get attack and creature gets and trample in the end of turn, return the creature. Okay. I'm gonna take uh, five, seven damage. Oh my god, I'm gonna take 8 damage. No, I lost, he's too aggressive. Couldn't do anything. I can only play two creatures. I was hoping for a pause, something like that. I'll attack like this. Not gonna attack with this, just in case. I'm gonna keep my, keep my mana up to turn this and to block this guy. Because he still needs to pay for mana to get this back on the board. Even though he's gonna get the trigger. And he's also in danger of dying. So he has to be careful. Now that I have a jumping Kavu, that is gonna make something unblockable for like two or less, like this ability. That also, because it's a counter, I put another counter on this guy. So he needs to be careful too. He's really aggressive and he's winning on that. But uh, he needs to be careful. I still have a creature that's gonna come on board. Now he's thinking about it. Protection blue and black, and command to the player, survey to you may. Okay, fine. Then you may cast an instant or sorcery spell with mana value to release. Okay, fine. Yields combat damage. Okay. Fine. Uh, okay. I'm gonna risk something. With mana value 2 or less. If he actually does have a spell that deals damage, it's fine. And I attack with everything and I win. Wait, 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 wait. If I block. I put a counter on this, for example. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, because I put the other counter. Oh, God damn it, I'm gonna be one off. Three, six, twelve, yeah. Because I'm gonna block this and be one off. 
No, I'm not gonna block. If I die, well, happens. I'm already happy with the outcome. Because I either survive this turn and cannot win next, which means that I'll probably lose next one, or go for the win next turn. The only way that he has actually to kill me is to deal me one point of damage from a spell that he's gonna put into the graveyard. Let's go. Mats, boys. Fucking Mats. Because even though if he blocks this, he takes too much damage. See? Less one. If I would have blocked with the token, I would be one damage off to kill him. <laughs> Feels good. Well, at least I'm deserving those wins, right? At least some of them. We are not four wins. Uh, five wins, sorry. Good. We are not positive already. We got our gems back. Beautiful. Two wins or one loss. The fact that I don't actually edit my videos, like make a little cut, is making this video being like one hour and a half already. One hour long, I mean. But even though it reaches to two hours, let's see. Okay, Arena is having trouble finding an opponent. I'm only silver, not that I think about it, like because I hadn't played for so long. If I have one land, if I get one land, it's fine. Because the other will come not much after. I just need more things to play. Okay. I could block this, but no. I thought about it. Well, that's shit. Now the creator token or else I'll fall too far behind. He's already putting too many things on board. Another knight, enter the battlefield, get plus some plus one vigilance. Oh shit. Well, I'm totally fine doing this. Am I? I'm attacking because, well, if I not attack, I, uh, she's just not gonna do anything else. I'm not gonna block because they're gonna be 4 for each. Oh my god, oh my god. Fuck me, what the hell? That's the way Arena wants me to lose. Okay, I got it. I don't think I need to block yet. And a land. Can you please tell me that he doesn't have another knight? And even though he doesn't have a knight, I bet he has instants in the hand. Okay, that's an artificer and a draw. Or, or. Whatever. Of course I block one of those every day. 
and another one with this. But I'm dead next turn. That's my best outcome. No, I don't want to. Fine. Nope, not to take. I think I'm dead no matter what. I do not doubt he's gonna play more things. Jesus, god fucking damn it, this guy's annoying as hell. He got his fifth land. Yep, I lost. <sighs> sure. Fine, fine. That's how we are gonna steal my win. Fine. Well, at least the video is not like two hours long. But I take it. Fine, wizards. Fine. Fine. Like your company. Just fine. Good. Look at this. Positive. Let's see what's in the shop too. Maybe a pack. <laughs> well, nice. Uh, with this. Can someone tell me in the comments if it's more worth to buy it with gems or um, coins? When the, there is a free pack here? A free pack? No, like a cheaper pack. Let's start with this. That's the third I have. Jesus. I play with one maximum. Oh, Lotus. Nice. I love this one. Each permanent card in your... Like, this can be a control card. Okay, Elsnorn, not bad. At least we got a mythic, it's fine. I would like to have like rare cards to craft like rares. Because, well. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, <coughs> those cards. Free wins. And another one of those. Oh, tribute. Good. Wait, that's the rare, so... Okay, fine. Yeah, a bitch. And step if you gain life to start your standard icon. Okay, not bad. But I don't think you can play this standard. Good. So. That's how we're gonna end the video. Just gonna quickly show you this deck that I'll be testing in those next days. Uh, mm, nah, I don't think it's worth playing this, <laughs> just because. So single target removal, we have this. 12 cards, so this because uh, good against creatures and uh, planeswalkers, just straight up. This, because the card is too good, there to gain HP. And there, just in case there is something with X-Proof, or just something in specific and you don't give the, this. Also, I have one of those, just in case the opponent is actually letting me play this, and go slowly to the win. Uh, surprisingly enough, people don't remove artifacts that much. A Celestus, because it's really good, it's ramp, it might be card draw in the late game, it gives you HP, good card. There, it just straight up buys you a turn. Uh, Planeswalkers, I have... Uh, first, I should probably do this. Uh, five board wipes, so one depopulate... Uh, sorry, three depopulate, two farewell. So like this, just totally fine. Uh, wiping the board, just try not to greed too much, keeping one of those cards in your hand and dying, or losing too much HP before you can play one of those. It's nice. You have a lot of sustain in the stack, I'll show you after. With those three cards, 
and uh, with this also eventually this one so you don't need to greet too much on your HP this the angels just because it's black and white and I just like put those seven lands just to splash the red so I can pay another kicker three sorins if you want you can just like play two sorins and uh, an emperor and three kayas because well two OP I'd say you just need a good setup to play here also creatures we just have four angels and two shield rats. why because perfect world you depopulate turn four he plays one creature you play shield red turn five and you're good if you can transform her even better if not it's most of the time a big one for one lens i play 26 i think 25 it's good cards that you can play if you want myrex i don't think it's needed in the stack because win conditions you have like kaya you have probably the angel if the opponent let it sleep too much you have a realm breaker and then you have just like sustain removal stuff like that uh, no Cop Low is a really good card in this meta. I don't see people playing this card enough. Even myself, I am not playing, but I could like cut one of those, one of those, eventually a Shield Red and uh, the World Breaker and put like four of those, something like that, just to deal with aggressive decks. In this meta, it's really good. It gives you HP, it kills you something, and if the guy is playing red, for one mana. Then Emperor or the Wanderer. Feel free, just like more fun but playable cards. Uh, and that's basically it. I'm gonna test this and I'm gonna give you some feedback if I make a video on it. Guys, anyway, thank you for being there with me for another episode on Magic Arena. See each other for the next one. Till then, stay safe, take care of your yourself and each other. Consider leaving a comment on the video, a like if you like it or a dislike it if you didn't. Never forget about us, stay the way you are, you're amazing, and see you.